right, you beautiful web scrapers and Python developers. In this video, we are going to be installing Scrappy. Now this video and the next video are going to be about installing Scrappy and they're a little bit different videos because in this video, we are going to be using a software or an IDE known as PyCharm. An IDE is basically a software where you can write code. I've been using PyCharm for a really long time and it's just really easy to write code on PyCharm. So I'm going to be using that. So if you want to follow completely along, I'll highly recommend you download a version of PyCharm. Now PyCharm has two versions, a professional version and a community version. You can download both of them. They both work totally fine. I'm going to be using a professional version which has a 30 day trial. So if you want to use that, be free. Now, what if you don't want to use PyCharm and you want to use a software like Sublime, Atom or maybe Notepad++. Don't worry if you want to use that. That I'm going to be covering in the next video where you can use any software you want as an IDE. And it's going to be a little bit different from what we are going to be talking about in this video. So if you have any other software that you want to install, uh, then just go to the next video. But if you want to just install PyCharm, then you can carry on with this video. So what first thing you need to do is you need to obviously install Python if you don't have it installed. Currently, the latest version is Python 3.7.1. Then go to this PyCharm uh, page that is JetBrains PyCharm download and then just download the community of a professional or a professional version. And after downloading, just start up your PyCharm and it should somewhat look like this. Then just go to file, create a new project and just give it the name of the new project over here. And if you want to totally follow along, you can just call it Scrappy Tutorial just like I have and it will create a new project for you called Scrappy Tutorial. And the cool thing about PyCharm is that it will also create a virtual environment for you. And this virtual environment is called VENV as you can see on the left hand side. So if you're not using PyCharm, I'm going to be telling you how to manually create this virtual environment in the next video. But if you're using PyCharm, this is automatically created for you. Now, what is virtual environment? So virtual environment is basically an isolated unit so for your project. So what is an isolated unit for your project? So for example, let's say we install Scrappy inside the Scrappy tutorial project folder. Then the Scrappy package won't be installed in the rest of your computer. The Scrappy project will only be installed in the Scrappy tutorial project folder. So your rest of your computer won't be affected by whatever we do inside this project. So this project basically acts, acts like an isolated unit. Now that we have created a basic project, what we can do is that we can just go to settings and we can just install Scrappy by going to project interpreter, then clicking on this plus icon and just searching for Scrappy. And then we can just click on Scrappy and click on install package. Now this is not only going to install Scrappy, but it's also going to install other packages that Scrappy requires. So it's going to take a little bit of time. So make sure you wait a couple of minutes for this installation to be completed. Now, after the Scrappy has finished installing, it will kind of look like this. And if you close this uh, window, you will see all of these packages have been installed. And uh, Scrappy, along with all of the other packages, has also been installed. Now, you can just click on OK and PyCharm will just take a second to make sure that your project of Scrappy is uh, running properly. Now, depending on the speed of your PyCharm, it might take a little bit more time to build up the skeleton. But after it has completed all the process over here, you can start building the project by clicking on the terminal option over here. And this will directly take you inside your Scrappy tutorial project folder with VENV that is your virtual environment activated. Now over here, you can just start the project by writing Scrappy and then start project. And I'm just going to call the project as quote tutorial because we are going to be working on a quote website to extract or web scrape a quote website. So I'm just going to call it quote tutorial and press enter. And this is going to make sure that the project structure required by the Scrappy is uh, actually created inside the Scrappy tutorial window. So you, it's as it says, you can start with your first spider. That is your first Python program or web scraping with CD quote tutorial and then this uh, scrapy gen spider example example.com. So now if we go this scrapy tutorial folder and open it up, you can see it has this uh, folder called quote tutorial. And if we open it up a little bit more, you can see all of these files inside our project. Now we are going to discuss what all of these files are in the next video, not in this video. And uh, yeah, so we'll discuss all of these files in the next video. And if you haven't installed PyCharm, 
make sure that you see the next video where we'll be learning how to install Scrappy inside a different IDE like Sub, uh, Sublime Text or Atom or Notepad++. Now, if I've already installed PyCharm, you can just directly jump to the video where I'll be explaining this project structure. So I'll see you over there.